Alright, it's time for another math easy solution. Uh, today I'm going to go over further into uh, debunking Flat Earth and this time we're going to be debunking Eric Dubay as well. And uh, we'll go further into the mountain shadow on the clouds and this time look at mountain shadow is uh, below the clouds and it's in reverse direction uh, to the uh, top of the clouds. So that is a key feature that we will explore soon. And uh, as usual, here's all the links uh, that I'll be covering and some notes. So I mean, links uh, that's here before I put everything there. And also there's a debunking flat earth playlist. And there is the uh, debunking flat earth uh, early video I did, Mountain Shadow on the Clouds. And there's a thumbnail all on, on Telegram just to uh, see it quickly. And uh, here's also that uh, mainstream website, uh, flat earth.ws, so the shadow on clouds that has a good photo there. And uh, and then we're going to look at this uh, uh, Eric Dubay. Yeah, he's a professional liar and he's pushing bogus disinfo as, uh, as per usual. And basically, uh, he uh, supposedly does a debunk of my debunk. <laughs> but it's uh, it's pretty obvious. Yeah, he's just lying. So here's a whole bunch of lies. And we'll go over that uh, one by one. And then another link is here's a good debunk of uh, Dubai AL. There's a whole bunch of other flat earth uh, nonsense. So Mount Rainier Shadow and Electro uh, uh, Floor Spectism, this uh, YouTube channel over here. And then uh, many photos of Mountain Peak are clearly below the clouds. You can just do a Google search of that. Or uh, in this case, pre-search because I earned crypto. And then we'll look at my uh, my new experiment I just did. So mountain shadow above and below clouds experiments as linked to it. And there's a link to the draft experiments. All right, so let's continue. So uh, here is the MES links webpage. So MES.fm slash links. I just put everything in there. You click, click the drop down, drop down everything, and then go to the debunking of flat earth right here. And I put all the links over there and a bunch of other stuff and recommended uh, resource. And I added a new one. Uh, this one is fighting stupidity at nonsense. Flat is a pretty uh, epic Twitter account. So you can check this one out as well. Anyways, uh, continue further. So here's the playlist link. And uh, yeah, we're up to uh, five here, including the live streams. And we'll add this one that I'm doing. All right, so let's continue further. So this is the video I did. And uh, yeah, just fast forward here. Basically, I showed that if you uh, have a mountain or just an object, and if you have light source below it, the shadow is going to be above. So it's pretty uh, straightforward stuff. And here's a thumbnail. And there is a, a mountain there. So there's a thumbnail here. Right, uh, here quickly, I just moved over to my MS Links Telegram just to it, it could zoom in better. So you can click the post here. Uh, so sun is below the horizon and you have it uh, pointing up. And there it is. Uh, there's a mountain right there. And you have the uh, sun is clearly somewhere here. <laughs> there's no perspective or all this uh, mumbo jumbo. It's clearly below. And then note, note the uh, direction of the clouds. It's, a, it's a, I mean, of the shadow, it's expanded. So it's going like this way, like the triangles, the tip is here and it's going up. And then there's the peak right there. You can clearly see the peak and then uh, here's the, uh, the image right here so this one you can clearly see the peak of the mountains below the clouds and you can see the the sharp point here and, and expands outwards so the shadow on the clouds right there and now we'll go over to the eric dubay he has 202 000, uh subscribers a lot of thumbs up uh thumbs down for me uh, yeah uh, he's a professional uh disinfo agent all right so let's go back to uh the notes here and see the uh the step by step so lie one he states uh alludes the sun reflecting to the ground is a possible explanation and he has some uh, kitchen experiments uh i'll just fast forward i'm not going to play uh most of it i'm just going to fast forward so again there's a bunch of clouds he only shows the ones that have the uh, clouds near the the peak and then uh it says some other perspective uh moment jumbo anyways so he has uh some experiments here. he's shown that uh, so he alludes to that saying that uh, that, uh, that because in, in the kitchen you have uh, sometimes the cupboard the shadow above and he's saying that, that but he doesn't state it he just says it just shows us for some reason uh, alluding to that could be a possible explanation even if the sun is uh, is um, yeah if it's just bouncing off if there's no clouds uh, uh, beforehand uh, but as I showed in my earlier video this again this is complete nonsense here the reason there's a shadow here is there's more light coming from this direction this one there's clearly more light coming from uh, the top. And even this cloud uh, barrier isn't that, that much uh, preventing it. And yeah, this is assuming that the sun's on top there. And, and you also assume there's a giant mirror that's reflecting it off. And even then, it still wouldn't do it, uh, as I showed uh, in here. So you go back here, and I, I added an actual mirror. The shadow is going to look, you're going to actually have double shadow. So you're going to have a, sh a bigger shadow here and a weird looking uh, light shadow here when the uh, light's coming down off this mirror. So again, it's uh, nothing like what he's showing. Anyways, and then the next lie he does is he states, uh, he says that all mountain sh uh, cloud shadow images are when mountain peak is above the clouds. He says all. He literally says that. So I'll play that part. All right, so it's at this part right here. Let's play it. In all of these photographs, the top of the mountain is above the cloud line. 
or is this, he says in all of these photographs, the top is uh, is is above the color. And this is completely fake. So he's saying this is the same as this. In fact, uh, the clouds is actually very close to the tip. This one, but you could tell which direction, uh, you know, where it is based on the direction of the of the um, shadow. The shadow is expanding, so the clouds are are above the uh, not not below. And so he's saying all of them are like that. So the shadow that globe believers <laughs> assume. Yeah. yeah. Must be the bottom portion of yeah. The- so, uh, anyways, a bunch of nonsense. So you can just do a quick, quick uh, Google search. You'll see it's pretty straightforward. Okay, like this one here, it's clearly uh, yeah. The, the mountain peak is clearly below the cloud. So that's that's an, uh, that's a straight up lie. Like this, is what I mean by like it's just straight up lying. Even the one from uh, Flat Earth uh, WS. Yeah, it's clearly the peak is right there. There's no there's no debate. So what he's basically saying there, there it is. You can see the peak. Okay, he says every photo was actually uh, the peak was below the cloud, so that's a flat out lie. And uh, yeah, there's another one here. Okay, <laughs> you can clearly see the peak right there. All right, anyways, uh, let's go back to that another lie. He says uh, so. Says shadow is from above the clouds, uh, but note that the clouds are in reverse direction when they're uh, above. So he says that, and he shows the uh, images. Let's go see what he shows. So he shows right here. So notice. Uh, if, can you see how the, the tip is, uh, is, is, is smaller there and it expands outwards? So this is, it's literally the reverse direction. If you see all these ones, it's a triangle where the, the peak is touching the, this peak. But then when the clouds above, uh, the, the triangle, the, the base is the, uh, the widest uh, shadow. And then the, the top there is the smallest shadow. And, and then another thing is you have to uh, realize here. Okay, so we got covered that and it's uh, pretty straightforward. And he says, uh, sun is never, it never goes below the horizon. But again, when you do these Google searches, it's pretty straightforward. Like, uh, you're going to see, um, some of these images. Uh, yeah, it, the shadow, yeah, it's clearly below. And then the shadow is above. And, uh, some of them you could, you could clearly see the image there. I think, uh, it's from my thing right here. Yeah, this one right here. The, the sun is clearly somewhere over here. Like, I, I don't know how to stress that enough. Anyways, uh, that's another lie. He states. And then, all right, let's go back to the notes. So, yeah, so at 208, why? Uh, here's another, another thing. So, why is the top of the mountain illuminated, but below it is not? So, in other words, if you go right here uh, in his uh, video, uh, the one uh, right after, right here. So, he shows a time lapse from above, but look, this part is, is bright. This one, uh, there's a shadow here. So, what's causing this shadow? Is there some uh, magic clouds that are somehow blocking it over there? Again, that's, uh, yeah, I, I just, it, there's no way this is happening unless you literally have the sun below, it's going down. The sun is literally going down. And it's, it's causing that shadow. <laughs> it's causing, causing that shadow over there. And, and the clouds are just having to be above. So it's, yeah, so we have that, all right. So basically I, I said here, so why is the top of the mountain illuminated but below is not? What is causing the shadow in front of the mountain? So the shadow in front of the mountain, is the sun below the clouds? Answer is yes, so that's going back here again. Uh, what's causing this shadow in front? He's, uh, but he never mentions that. He just uh, says, look at, look at over here, but doesn't say the direction. So again, he's, he's completely lying. And, uh, goes actually at, at 301, we'll get to that. Uh, yeah, we'll go to the reverse direction soon. Yeah, but, uh, this other one. So at 301, his graphic confirms that he is ignoring the shadow on the front of the mountain. So we'll go to 301. So th- th- remember this one right here? Then he does a graphic here at 301. Let's just go back to the, uh, 301 right here. So at 301, he has a graphic right here saying that, okay, there's, there's a sun, so the shadow will be right from the peak, but, but there's a shadow in front of this uh, mountain, so what's causing that mountain? <laughs> and then it goes down here. So he's saying, so what, again, there's it's a bright spot. So what's actually happening is is, this, is the sun is going below, so it's shining some of it, and then there, you have some clouds over here, and it's blocking it. So, <laughs> okay, so that's uh, interesting. Uh, yeah, so he's lying about that. So that's confirmed that the, um, yeah, that he's ignoring the shadow on the front of the mountain. And and live five, or this was uh, at 242. He shows the cloud in reverse direction to what it should be confirmed, confirming he is deliberately misleading his audience, aka lying. So at 242, so 242, he uh, argues what uh, it should be happening right here. He's saying that uh, if the sun is is something like this. All right, yeah. So let's play this one right. Oh, oh we're not play. I'll just, just fast forward. So what he says is that a time lapse, if you were to film it, should have uh, the furthest part being uh, being a uh, cloud. Uh, as you have this shape right here and pointing out like this and then expanding out like that. But again, he's going in the reverse direction as to what's actually being seen. So uh, in his own video, so you can see right here, it's in the reverse direction. The outer base is further out, not closer. 
So at 242, so he's deliberately adding a fake image, stressing that, yeah, he, he, he's trying to put, he's trying to impose the top uh, cloud view, uh, like where the uh, shadows on the top of the clouds onto what it, what it, what is supposed to be on the bottom, which is reverse of this one. So it's, again, it's del deliberate, deliberate line. And uh, let's do the next setup here. So the good debunk, uh, this guy right here shows a good video, uh, and then he shows some good uh, graphics right here. So he goes over that, and he shows right here uh, that the light source above the peak on the upper side of the mountain causes, uh, causes the widest part of the shadow closest to the mountain with the peak furthest from the mountain, the exact opposite of the light source below the peak and cloud. So if you have uh, the light source right here. Yeah. The filter from. Yeah, so this is this is uh, from the top. So th this one, he's looking at a filter from the lights on top of the mountain. So you're going to see the furthest peak away. But then when you, the next page, yeah, the next one, you're going to fast forward. Yeah, so this one is on the reverse direction. So and he has a he has a light source behind there, and there's a cloud uh, set up. The light source below the peak, shining on the out underside of the clouds, causes the shadow of the peak closest to the mountain, expanding away from the peak. This clearly demonstrates the mountain peak and light source are not above the clouds. Yeah, and also this is the peak. It's clearly below. I mean, clearly yeah, below the clouds. It's not above the clouds, as Eric Dulier says. All right, and yeah, these are some cool images. And he has some other demonstrations right here. So this is sun and mountain peak above the cloud. So if the um, yeah, if the sun and the mountain peak were above, you're gonna have the clouds right here with the shape pointing up. But if the sun and peak below, you're gonna have light source and in the back there, and it's gonna be reverse direction. So it's reverse direction. It's literally irrefutable. All right. And now it brings us to the experiments I did right here. So just a whole bunch of different experiments. And let's just play this and I'll commentate. All right. So here I have my mountain. Here's I have two glasses and then a, just a piece of white paper, printer paper. And then I have this thing holding it up. And then I use another phone as the uh, light source. All right, so the first one, uh, I have it like this. Okay, so, and so what I do is I pick it up actually. Let's see what I do. All right, yeah, so I have it like this. And then if I uh, go, uh, I have the light, if I go backwards, the shadow extends, but it extends a bit slowly. It's not a, not a smooth, but if I go, yeah, I'll, I'll just keep going, go backwards. Yeah, so you can see the peak is, for, is pointing outwards when the when the light source is above. Uh, but it kind of grays out when you go backwards. This is the uh, flat Earth models going backwards like that. And then I uh, I'll do it uh, the next one. The next one I'll do or soon I'll I'll start doing it with the uh, round Earth model just or the round Earth actual reality. All right, and then just go down and it goes up like that smoothly. So again, I, I'm just doing my own cloud. So that, that's when the peak is above the clouds. Again, look at the point. Point is pointing out, out, outwards as expected. All right. And then uh, let's see what else I do now. So the next one is uh, I try to put the camera below and then we're going to put this above the clouds or the paper. And yeah, so you can see the peak and this is from, uh, so if, if, if it was actually, if you're actually looking at the shadow through the cloud somehow <laughs> below it, it's a bit hard to see it, but yeah, it kind of sticks out there. Yeah, so there's a peak. It's, it's, this one's just a bit hard to see. Again, that's another thing. It's going to be hard to see if you have it below. All right. So that is, uh, that is a bit hard to see. We saw it initially. There's the peak, and it expands out. Yeah, there, there's a better better image there. It's just harder to see there. Uh, and, and I didn't want to redo it, but you get the idea. All right. And then what I'll start doing is when the, um, when the mountain is actually below, all right, so just the, the paper's a bit bent. Maybe that's why it's hard to see. But anyways, good enough. All right, so the next setup is, yeah, so now we're going to have the mountain below. And now uh, below the clouds. And now we can see it. So then now you're looking at the top of the clouds from below. You're going to see the peak right at it. So again, it's uh, I'm repeating myself. But again, stress it enough. This is pretty straightforward stuff. So Eric Dubé and a whole bunch of other people like the Taboo Conspiracy, all of them are... Professional liars and like that lying for decades, like literally a CIA operation of absolute nonsense. All right, uh, keeps going. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward stuff. I just keep doing it more and more. And then uh, the next one is I'll have it, um, uh, I'll put the camera below. So now it's like what you're actually seeing at Mount Rainier. There's the cloud below, and there it is. Yeah, and then the light source below. The peak is right here. So the peak is right here, and it goes out like that. And it's a pretty rapid, uh, rapid shadow creation, actually. It's like like very tiny movement, and maybe that's why it's 
uh, there's not many time lapses around, but if, if you have time lapse of this in a real life of a mountain or even a city uh, tall building, etc., yeah, that's pretty epic. All right, and and yeah, I think that's that is it for that experiment. And as I put that in unlisted, and as always, here's a bunch of uh, draft experiments I do. I have a thousand one hundred and five. I do a whole bunch because I gotta make sure I uh, get fully uh, graphed. Anyway, so that is all for today, and uh, yeah, let's go back here. So yeah, that's all the links. I'll put all these in the description below as well, the notes, and so on. Let me know what you think. And uh, there was another uh, debunk uh, of this uh, fake debunk that uh, Flat Earthers was doing. I think Taboo Conspiracy, I'll, I might do, might do a debunk of that later. But again, it's, it's just very, very common sense stuff. Anyways, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.